Energy, energy, energy. I've got no energy. It's going to be another horror film, so I'm just going to be, not. I'm going to be dead. It's not a horror film. So this film, I believe, I believe came out in 2003. 2003? I think. This one is not horror. It's more of a crime or, or thriller. I'm assuming I don't really know much about it. Oh god! <laughs> but but it is a foreign film and it was remade and it was remade I with think I know with uh, Josh Brolin. So oh, it's, it's old, old boy. boy. Yes. Old boy. Yes, it's okay, old boy. Okay, good, good. So what I've do you heard, know about it? I've heard amazing things yeah. about the original. Yeah. I believe it's like a classic vengeance story, which I love. I love yeah. vengeance stories. Yeah. Where uh, it's one person going, uh, going off and tackling a. Uh, a massive amount of other people or like uh, okay. yeah. odds that are like completely against them. See, I, I have I no idea. I think it inspired Taken, that sort of... Oh, do you think? Do you know how that sort of subgenre had a mini explosion yeah. and lots of different films in that yeah. in that genre, action action sort of thriller? Yeah. yeah. So I think it inspired that. Taken without reason, imprisoned for 15 years, released without reason, five days to seek the truth. Yeah. I feel like we're going to get some heads cut off. I hope so. Oh. Or some pencil kills. A tense, no holds barred, knuckle gnawing roller coaster ride. Truly astonishing. And then brilliant, but that's by Jonathan Ross, so. It's <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be quite thrilling. I hope it's not a sad film or, a, or anything like that. <laughs> First time uh, crying yeah. on camera, yeah? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a bit different. It's a little bit different, isn't it? All of them have been horrors so far. We've got a little bit of an action. Yeah, we've got like some, definitely a bit of variety now in our, in our channel. <laughs> Finally. Right. But we'll see. Let's take a look. Just from the menu screen of Old Boy, I'm actually getting Raid vibes. By that guy, that guy's face there, he reminds me of the bad guy out of Raid. So I'm hoping some cool fight scenes, maybe. But yeah, I'm hoping good action scenes. I'm thinking John Wick type of action scenes, Raid action scenes. But we'll see. I'm just listening to the music. It's very, uh... Oh, okay. We're just getting straight in there. Is that him? <laughs> it's drunk, isn't it? Oh my god. Reminds me of you. Oh, it's, yeah, it's you. Reminds me of you, yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be funny right off the bat. It's not funny, is it? He's drunk and he's... Yeah, arrested. but it's funny because he's drunk. <laughs> and he's been arrested. Yeah, he's trying to piss everywhere. Those cuts where it's just like like just a sudden cut, that's normal, what makes yeah. it I don't know, he's been taken. Has he? Well, maybe if his stuff. Yeah. Still... Oh, he's in a hotel room. Kind of. Yeah. Well, at least he's got his own room. <laughs> it could have been worse. Fifteen years? Yeah. Would it have been easier or harder? Probably Jesus harder, mate. Christ, 15 years in that one room. <gasps> a year ago? He's only been there a year at the moment. Oh! Ah! <gasps> what is that? It, maybe it's hallucinating. Oh my. Oh. I had a similar nightmare. That's one way to convey um, a tortured soul and a someone in shock or grief. Yeah, grief. Over grief. a death in the family. Oh. This definitely reminds me of the raid. 
Is he gonna get ripped? So I remember seeing that as the poster of the remake. I remember seeing. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, jumping punch. That's sick. That is sick. I don't know if his glasses are supposed to be funny or not. I think they're cool, man. Yeah. It's one of those ones where we're not going to know anything until the very end, like the way it's going to be like a, a shocking reveal. That's how many books he's he read. Right. Oh, <laughs> I bet that wasn't planned. Ah, I felt that. No, no. She got a knife. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. He said apparently so the first time. Yeah, no, apparently, apparently not. not. You did run in and jump on her. So. <laughs> While she was taking a Facing all different Oh. So he's, what, is he going through restaurants and, and hotels and trying yeah. food? To see if it's that one. That's a cool camera shot. Went through the chopsticks. I didn't expect him to find it so soon. Oh! What is it? Hammer. Oh. Okay, he's gonna do that. No. I'm gonna give you take out fifteen. Mm. Oh no! Let ah. <laughs> me want to see that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh God! Oh, my, my gums hurt. <laughs> the tapes of him. I don't know, Sean. I'm getting over the tooth <laughs> thing. I love the music. It's almost like Western. Yeah, this whole sequence, man. It's so, cool. it's so well shot. It's almost like a video game. Yeah, I was thinking that, like a kind of roller. Yeah. Oh, that guy's coming back. So. It yeah. sounds so physical, doesn't it? Yeah. Like skin hitting skin. Hmm. Wait a second. That's the thing from Men in Black that <laughs> wipes people's minds. What a dickhead! <laughs> He's a cool little villain, isn't he? I don't know, he looks like a whiny little brat. What would you choose? Revenge or the truth? 
You've got to have the truth, haven't you? You can't just get revenge. You, I need to know what happens. A, a, a part of me would be like, you want me to uh, learn the truth. So f*** you. Bang. <laughs> Dead. Oh, shit. What? Who are these guys? That's the dentist. Oh! Well, no, not the dentist, that's the guy who... Yeah, he's, he pulled his teeth out. <laughs> that's the dentist. No, can't go through it again. No, why? Why has everything got to do with the teeth, it's with all, this film? It's all about revenge, isn't it? There's one thing better than the revenge, then. Money, money, money. Oh! He didn't want to go in for the second hit there. He was like, oh God. Just takes out a bit of money for that. <laughs> oh, I do. Wait, why is she the woman that he loves? He only met her a couple of days ago. Were you supposed no. to know who this woman is? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me that look. There's another message for mm. He's listening. Oh. Oh. Are you sure it is? Oh, that is the yeah, thing. it is. I knew, yeah. He obviously used to love her, and she died. Oh. This guy needs to seriously move on. Ah. Uh, the sister. I'm getting kind of. Memento vibes from this, the Christopher Nolan film, yeah. where he's a detective and he turns out to be the one that's done something wrong. Yeah, you know, maybe he doesn't forgotten what he's done or something. Yeah. So is that the the girl that died? Yeah, I think so. Now he's remembering what he did. Sure, that's not the brother. If this is some incestuous stuff, then I just don't, I don't. It would make sense because the bad guy seemed like he was in. We thought the bad guy was in love with the girl, until we found out that he was a sister. But that doesn't write off that he was still in love with her. In that way. <laughs> I think it was. Nah, kill him as well. Yep. Is he going to succumb to revenge or is he going to... I hope so. ...survive it and... I hope so. Get redemption instead. Nah, yeah, fuck redemption. Kill him. Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> we were right. Uh, you were right. Get him. Oh. I told you I wanted a pencil death. 
but I'll take a <laughs> toothbrush death. <laughs> Disgusting. Mm. She killed herself. Now, only a rumor, though, was it? The first one was the truth. Yeah. Oh. No, it didn't. Psycho. What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? This guy has gone a long way. Jesus Christ. Revenge, he's, he? Yeah, yeah he's, he's gone overboard. You know, 10 out of 10 for effort <laughs> and execution. Oh my God, it's not his daughter. Is it? You know, the one he was giving the wings to. That's why 15 years to wait. That's fucked. No, please don't. <laughs> no. No. He slept with his daughter. No! That's... No. <laughs> no! No! I can't. I can't! That's just... Why is this film just incestuous? What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You don't need to do that. What are you doing? He said, didn't he? He said, your tongue killed. Got her pregnant. Mate, that oh. makes me feel sick. It's his daughter. Wait. Is the remote control to turn on the recording of him and his daughter? His... This dude. This dude. What's to forget? So they're just gonna continue. Wow. Well. Because she still, and he doesn't know the secret. So, uh, but they still eat, they're still in that, they still love each other. And it resonates with the with the saying of that what that guy said. Despite this, me and my sister still mm. loved each other. Can you do the same? And it looks like you can. 
who he, he is. So he's literally just in a relationship with his daughter. That is not how I expected the film to go or end. No, whatsoever. At all. At all. I just thought it was a simple revenge thing. I didn't think everyone was fucking each other. I don't know what kind of old boy I've heard about then, because... I'll tell you what I heard. In a, all right, man. So. Sorry, I'm just wiping the tears from my eyes. <laughs> wiping the stank <laughs> away. Right just then. when you think that, you know, you've seen Come and See, you've seen The Wailing, that's it, man, you're going to relax, you're going to sit down and watch And just film. a simple and Sean just movie. just with the one-two punch. <laughs> come and see an old boy. And then you're just knocked out on the... <laughs> on the canvas. On the, on the side. I'm going to give old boy a... 8.2. Nice. I'll give it an 8.2. Okay. Completely took me off guard this film. So I'm going to give this film an 8.5. Whoa! Okay, 8.5 for me. Oh my god, man. It's just. Oh, it's scarring. It's disgusting. It, it, it made me feel sick. And it just took me by surprise. That was probably the main element. Because, like you said, you thought it was just a revenge tale, and I thought it was... Yeah, I, I, I agreed with you, um, a revenge or a vengeance tale. But all that I've been exposed to in terms of that is John Wick, where it's just simply someone yeah. killed his dog, so yeah. he goes and kills everyone, or Taken. And then there's, sort of, there's is, sort of Liam Neeson generic taken, yeah. action thriller films. But this, this, is in, how can this, this translate is like, this, to it? Yeah, this is literally film. vengeance, so it's Taken, it's... it's uh, it's John Wick uh, throughout the first and maybe second act. And then third act, it's just like, slap, 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 slap. Incest, yeah. just everywhere, yeah, just thinking, everywhere, thinking, all over your face. <laughs> partly through this, towards the end, I was thinking, yeah, this is about, this is a revenge thing, but I can't see this guy getting just revenge. And then it's, 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 it is a revenge story, but it's the other guy's story, isn't it? Okay. So it's hard to process this because it's just like, I don't even know where to start. I really don't know where to start. Okay, with this. we'll start with the main guy, the main actor's performance. Okay. Oh, that end sequence where he's like screaming, he's like begging. That's a really good scene, yeah. Like he his performance was brilliant. With and, and the tongue out. Yeah, and just the way he portrayed being uh going crazy in that room yeah. for fifteen years. His uh obviously he he looked like he did all the his fight scenes, so props to him. Uh he I was lost in his character. I didn't think yeah, it was an actor yeah, playing yeah. him, to be fair. The, the choreography as well, when he's in that fight scene, the main scene is the, uh, the, <laughs> the corridor scene yeah, with, yeah. The, with the panning shot. I yeah. thought he was fantastic in that. Well, in that, uh, in that corridor scene, it, we mentioned the fact that the score, uh, the sounded, score there was like, quite sounded like a Western. A Western, yeah. Almost, like a standoff. Um, uh, and it looked like a video game, which yeah. was... That was a long corridor, man. <laughs> Yeah, but it was... Not as long as the runway in Fast and Furious uh, <laughs> 17 or whatever it was. Yeah. But... <laughs> um, okay. It's such a hard film, isn't it? Man, I just can't stop thinking about that sex scene and it, the fact that it was dull. Oh um, my God, it's just grotesque. It's horrible. Um, I, I mean, there are a little bit, little, few parts of the film that are a bit like far-fetched, aren't they? Like, you have to suspend your belief a little bit. Um, it's so it's so out there yeah. with his revenge plot. I mean, he's just a normal guy. To be fair, he has he's been drunk in the police station. Yeah, yeah. But the plot, the main guy, his plot. To be fair, he was planning yeah. it for fifteen or more than fifteen years. I mean, so he got it down to the T. Pra practical effects wise are really good. I mean, the teeth scene was grotesque, wasn't it? Oh yeah, there the was a lot of uh, out. yeah, there was a lot um, of scenes like that. When I was a bit... So it was quite Spanish. violent, but then that violence pulled back a bit towards the end, didn't it? Mm, yeah, until, he, oh. and, until it became, became like thought-provoking grotesqueness yeah. with the incestuous aspect of the film. I but mean, this is... <laughs> we stopped watching horror films and then we watched this. Where, where's the line? This is more where's grotesque than Hellraiser. This has affected me more deeply than Hellraiser, uh, man. I feel like it's a little bit disjointed because... He's a really great fighter in that hallway scene, isn't he? Yeah. And I felt like, oh, we've got some really good choreography here. Maybe perhaps we're going to get a few scenes like that later on and there's going to be bigger bigger fights like that, almost like the Raid. Yeah. But um, but 
it doesn't happen it descends yeah. or it changes into that other sort of yeah um it's almost mind games and yeah almost like an fit, arty fit. psychological kind yeah. of thriller as opposed it's to like a it's like a mental fight rather than a yeah. physical yeah which i liked i liked that second part yeah, yeah it's more than the up. first part switched um up. i think yeah, i mean yeah. I, I just he spends 15 years watching tv and that's how he becomes a good fighter yeah. <laughs> that's the only He's bit around boxing yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, if i spent 15 years watching tv I wouldn't. Well, be, be good <laughs> you're pushing up a wall every day. Yeah. But um, so yeah, that's probably the only sort of negative. What? What was I it? didn't? What was the? Well, just the idea how it's almost like disjointed a bit. It's oh, okay. Two sort of two films in one or two styles maybe. Um, maybe yeah. The ending just not necessarily a negative. It's just just so out of the. It's not a bad ending. It's just. Uh, takes you off guard so, yeah. so you just need we just need to process it man it's just it almost leaves you with a feeling of like in, that you're incomplete a bit because you didn't get that satisfying revenge that you wanted yeah but also but also you didn't get the ending but that's the thing isn't you it? didn't that's get the, the ending that's the thing. if he got his revenge by killing him it wouldn't change the fact that what happened happened no so go on what about you then negative <sighs> it was it was confusing at the at the middle like first act transitioning into second act was i was a bit lost i was just like why why is this why is that but, yeah. but i understand that it unravels towards the end which is good so i i don't know whether to treat that as a negative or not i like i like the fact that um you know he had this whole time 15 years to plan his escape but then he only had 5 days to figure out uh like it was like mm -hmm. the time was for him and then time was yeah. against for him. a moment i thought that second um, act like the first half of yeah. the movie time was for him for a moment i thought second. like the police would be brought into it and he'd be on the run as well but yeah there was a there was a line actually where he said um when he was doing the sort of future tense uh or future narration mm -hmm. he said something like i i thought if i had known it was 15 years beforehand would it have been easier or would it have been harder yeah that's quite a nice that's, line. yeah that was an interesting thought-provoking question <laughs> i mean it was just a normal guy at the start just a normal guy an absolute drunk no yeah it was an absolute drunk but then like something he did when he was a kid yeah comes back to uh, haunt him like that mate i'm just drained after cheers watching for watching film. you recommendations out. down below cinema rules subscribe like the video, share it. Um, notify the bell. Notify the bell. Ring the bell. Yeah. Flick that bell. And then, uh, wait. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>